Joe, I was just another G.I. Joe, and I was there for, because Uncle Sam said, you will be there. There was eight of us kids in the family, six boys and two girls, and five out of the six of us served in the military. Well, Jay is 12 years older than I am, and so as we was growing up, and he left home when I was still a kid, he decided, well, I'm not gonna wait for the Army to get me, so he went and joined the Navy. Took his base, took his training in San Diego, and then he was assigned to the Arizona, and that's where he spent the, all of his time was on that ship until, well, he's still there, yeah. <laughs> he's still there. Keith was drafted in September of 41, so that's just before Pearl Harbor, and at the time Pearl Harbor, he was in, uh, in California for basic training. Marion decided, he said, I'm not gonna wait around for the Army to get me, and he said, I'd sooner get in where I go to work, so he joined the Navy. Finally, I got the letter from Uncle Sam that says, greetings, your friends and neighbors have chosen you. Report to Fort Douglas on such and such a day. Now, this is my brother, Len. He ended up over in the Air Force over in North Africa and Spain. We've uh, I've gone through what information I could get from my older sister, Delsa. Her and Delsa and Jay were real close and they did a lot of communicating together. And after she passed away, I got a lot of uh, letters and that that she had in her home. And that's where basically what I've learned the most from Jay is the letters he wrote to her. And these have all been entered into footnote. And some of the pictures have been entered into footnote. So that uh, my kids, my grandkids, someday, we hopefully, will be interested enough to look and say, hey, I didn't know that. You know, I can't say there's one human being that's any more important than another. But it was nice to preserve his memory and uh, that because uh, he was one that paid the ultimate price. I've always felt that it, it was a lot more than just names, dates, and places. I always wanted to, for those I was left searching for, I wanted to know how they lived and what they lived on and the conditions they lived under. And I hope that someday our descendants, a grandson or great great grandson, or that somewhere along the line maybe see this and they'll get a little better picture of what was going on in our time.